Here are five reasons why you should retire in Asheville, North Carolina. Now people come to Asheville all the time for many different reasons. They're coming in droves actually, but one of the most frequent calls I get are from people thinking about retiring in the area. And there's five distinct reasons why they would be doing that. Let me share it with you now. Hi, I'm Beth Shadler. I'm a realtor here in Asheville, North Carolina with Tried and True Realty powered by eXp. And welcome to our channel, Living in Asheville, where we explore what it's like to live, eat, work, sleep, play in Asheville, North Carolina. Hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Here are five reasons that you're gonna love Asheville if you retire here. Number one, the scenery. There are mountains and views and valleys and rivers everywhere. People come here to be close to nature and that's exactly what you get when you live in Asheville. You may not be backpacking necessarily like you used to, but there's lots of different ways to stay Stay physically active when living here. There's short trails and walks and places to visit like the Arboretum that have great paths that are easy to walk on. And if you're not doing that, at least you can enjoy the view from your big front porch. There are numerous national and state parks around here that offer wonderful outdoor adventures. Not to mention all the rivers that are nearby. For me personally, I love being near water. And even just the sound of water nearby makes me feel peaceful and tranquil. I really, really enjoy it. And with all the the water nearby, you're never far from a water source or even a waterfall. We're known as the land of the waterfalls where there's over a hundred waterfalls within about an hour of Asheville. And day trips are really easy from this area as well. You could go to Waynesville or you could go to Little Switzerland. There's plenty of places to launch from when you live in Asheville that are an easy one hour drive away that will offer you a whole different experience to Western North Carolina. Number two, the weather. The weather here is pretty dang good. We have four distinct seasons and a temperate climate. So you're never really stuck in one season for too long. We are about at 2000 feet in elevation and really all of these seasons don't last too incredibly long. The ones that we like the most that kind of tend to linger are the spring and the fall and it's just joyous to be here. We rarely have a big snow or a lot of icy conditions or anything like that that makes winter really dangerous. And then in the summertime, it doesn't usually get that hot. You do have some humidity, but it's not unbearable and there's plenty of ways to cool off. A lot of communities have pools. And again, like I said, there's so many water sources around and it, the summer season, the really hot season is very short. So, there's not much to worry about. We do have some bugs and some critters and some mosquitoes, but again, it's not Florida and it's not the same. You're right in the middle, so it's not extreme. Number three, we have a very rich cultural and thriving arts scene. We have the Diana Wortham Theater downtown and smaller professional venues that offer theater and musical acts throughout the city. We have the Asheville Community Theater, which we're members of and we go to often. They offer musicals and theatrical experiences throughout the year for adults and children. There are also art museums and science museums that everyone can enjoy and summer camps for adults and kids, believe it or not. And then there is the whole River Arts District where you can go in to these artist galleries and watch them work, see their process and ask them questions. You can visit their galleries while it's actually happening and that's such a unique experience. There are tons of galleries down there and warehouses that have been completely converted and it's a wonderful time and, and experience to be able to see exactly 
exactly how they're making their art as they're doing it. Then we have big fairs like the Big Crafty that comes to town twice a year. I think they're local anyway, but it's a big craft fair of local artists of all types that make funky stuff and traditional stuff, but it's a great place to get gifts and it's a gathering a community place as well and it's inspirational. Number four, in Asheville, there are plenty of places to keep your brain active and to keep learning. Now that you have a little bit more free time, you get to explore those hobbies that you might not have been able to explore earlier on. We have AB Tech here, which has adult education programs, anything from home and garden things to painting classes, all types of art classes. And we have Asheville Parks and Recreation, which offers a variety of programs for active adults, including art and design classes, special events, fitness classes, outdoor activities, bowling, card games, meal sharing, the list goes on and on and on. And then there is the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, otherwise known as OLLI. And this is a part of the University of North Carolina Asheville, and it's nationally acclaimed as a learning community for older adults. So it's offering programs uh, and intellectual, cultural pursuits for older adults that involve social and physical and practical life courses. This has been around since 1988 and offers over 350 different courses per year. Number five, Asheville offers so much opportunity to be social. We are a friendly bunch here and there are a million ways to socialize when you live in Asheville. There's lots of churches, of course, and there's non-denominational churches or spiritual centers in general, or you could join the YMCA. I know that's not unique to Asheville, but it's really popular here. There are six of them in this area within like 45 minutes of Asheville, and they have tons of classes for seniors like fitness and balance and nutrition. They even have bridge clubs and book clubs, so it's extensive. These are great ways to get to know people. You could also volunteer. Habitat for Humanity has a home store here, and that's a great place to meet the community, meet other people, and give back. And not to mention pickleball. We have courts sprinkled out through all, throughout all of Asheville, and it is the hottest thing, as you probably already know, to find some friends and go play pickleball. It's a way to keep active, meet new people, and have some fun. The Active Aging Center in Asheville also offers events and all kinds of social interaction events that you can participate in, or you could live in a 55 plus community. My parents do. It's not necessarily official per se where there's rules that you have to be 55 plus. It just so happens that most of the people there are 55 plus. So if you're ever thinking about moving to Asheville, we help people move all the time. And I am a senior real estate specialist with that designation. So I really do help seniors relocate to the area daily. If you want help with this, I will help you seamlessly make that transition and walk you through it from A to Z. I am Beth Shadler. We are living in Asheville. And if you would love to reach out to us, please send us a text, an email, or a phone call, and we would be glad to help you in this process. Hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so that you can be alerted every time we make a new video for you. Until then, ciao for now.